young uncle goes to his village. Young uncle begin planning another trip. This time to his father's village. Where he had spent some memorable summers as a schoolboy. Most of his family had moved out of the ancestral village home. But two of his oldest relatives still lived in the village. These were ancient uncle and his wife, ancient auntie. Ancient uncle was young uncle's great uncle, but most people called him ancient uncle because he was very old. Ancient uncle had horses and cows and there were plenty of family stories about their exploits. The children really wanted to do to go with young uncle to see their legendary relative. But their mother put her foot down. But Young uncle will be there, said Ravi. Young uncle plus ancient uncle means even more trouble. Their mother said grimly, and what about school? The children were disappointed. Tell me what you want from the village apart from the usual fine crop of tall tales and I will be sure to bring it for you, said young uncle. The two other children looked happier. They decided they wanted mangoes more than anything because the village mangoes were the best in the known universe. But the baby, being more ambitious than her siblings, wasn't satisfied with any fruit. She frowned and pompered. The next day, Young uncle's friend, Yusuf, came to visit. He was a wildlife expert who could make the most amazing animal noises. And he always liked to entertain the children. This time, he brought them a picture book full of all kinds of animals. I am worried about the Nilgiri National Park, he said. It is a small protected forest, one of the last resorts of the Indian tiger. But each forest ranger I appoint to look after it leaves after a week or so and will not tell me why. I don't know what the trouble is and unfortunately I don't have time to visit Nilamgiri. But listen, it's not too far from your village. Could you look into it for me? My friend, young uncle, enthusiastically agreed. Later, when he was showing the baby the animal book, she pointed at a picture of a tiger reposing royally in a forest clearing. They, 
she said imperiously. I can't bring you a whole tiger, young uncle said. They won't allow him on the bus. The baby pointed at the tiger's tail. They, she said with a magnanimous air. I can't bring you a tiger's tail either. Young uncle said the tiger might object. The baby looked impatient. Then she pointed to the very tip of the tiger's tail. A hair from the tip of tiger's tail? Well, I will try my best, promised young uncle. So, two days later, young uncle waved goodbye and took a rickshaw to the bus stand. Thank you, friends.